Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned at the opening prayer, we gather remotely together as a community, a community of students and faculty and staff of Suffolk County Community College. And as I also mentioned, the students in the Catholic Club approached me and said, what can we do? How can we commemorate? How can we recall in, in spirit and in act and love those that have passed away during 2020, this past year, and 2019? And they said, can we have a prayer service? And I said, absolutely. And so in just a little while, you're going to hear a reading of the names of those that we're going to pray for. You know, in that gospel I just read, I know the way. Jesus knows the way because as the incarnate Son of God, incarnate meaning coming into the flesh of the world, being born human, He came down from heaven. And because He came down from heaven, and that he worked miracles amongst us, he loved us, and that he offered himself as this sacrifice to us, to us all, and rose again on the third day and returned to the Father. You see, Jesus knows the way because he's the only person who's ever came down from heaven and gone back up there. And we as Christians, most especially as Catholics, we believe in what we call the communion of saints. That although that we, that our loved ones have passed away, have died, that they are not gone. Life has changed, but life has not ended. And that we can ask and pray for them, and in return, we can ask for them to pray for us. You know, it's going to be still early in November, and, you know, the, the Holy Father has offered a special indulgence for us to go to a cemetery and to pray for those who passed on. And, and I offer you that opportunity to go to a cemetery and just pray for maybe a loved one that you have, for their soul, and for those that you don't know. Jesus knows the way. So let us continue with our very special prayer service today.